The investigation into a fiery crash that left one person dead. It was huge. Highway patrol troopers are still piecing together what caused a chain reaction pileup involving semis, RVs, and other vehicles. We brought it to you as breaking news this time on Tuesday. And near the town of Bellings, McIntyre Law Chopper 4 was overhead as traffic came to a halt for hours. News 4's Taylor Mitchell has more on what led up to the devastating crash. A little more than 24 hours after Tuesday's deadly fiery crash, the interstate is now back open to traffic, but investigators are still trying to sort out the chain reaction pileup. Troopers tell News 4 one person died in the crash. A number of other people were left critically injured. We now know thick smoke from a roadside grass fire blinded drivers along the interstate, forcing a truck driver to the side of the highway and ultimately causing a chain reaction collision. As cars were driving in the smoke, they obviously had no idea the entire roadway was blocked with a burning semi. Around eight to nine vehicles were involved. There were several small passenger cars in the middle of semis that were crashing. Um, so it was very much like a blizzard type situation where you can't see at all in front of you with that thick smoke. It's a danger firefighters want to warn drivers about, especially in these dry tinderbox conditions. If you can't see where you're going, you need to either stop, pull to the side, and we, a lot of these grass fires have resulted in some fatality car accidents. And with some parts of the state under a burn ban, the Oklahoma City Fire Department tells us they've responded to 35 grass fires since Friday. We have. We've seen a, a definite increase in grass fires already with the, with the warm temperatures. On top of that, the forewarned storm team's Mike Morgan says there are no signs of rain in the forecast. The evaporation rates are slower this time of year, but when the jet stream kicks in, our south winds are going to start to crank. That's when the drought and the fire danger will become critical. In Noble County, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, for now, the investigation continues into the crash, and troopers are not yet releasing the identity of that person who was killed.